What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. And I'm just checking in on you. Today's video is going to be your weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, Tuesday, August 3rd. I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And let me know in the comment section below what you think. But we're going to jump straight into it. We are in the base of ops in Washington, D.C. Here we go. All right, so your first vendor. All right, we are starting off with the Point Man. This is the named Gilgard chess piece with perfect vanguard. For the attributes, it comes with hazard protection and armor regen. Um, this is actually a pretty good perfect vanguard, especially for those tank builds. And if you want a hazard, I mean, I don't know, like a tank hazard build, that would work pretty good. Next up, we have a Tommy gun. Okay. This one with max accuracy and in sync. Very interesting. Uh, I've actually never used the Tommy gun before, so I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to start using a Tommy gun. I don't know. That'd be pretty funny, right? Um, all right. Next up, we have a ACR with max AR damage, damage to targets out of cover, and bread basket. Um, for me, that's a pretty good starting point if you want to make, you know, your own godly ACR. Um, but uh, for me personally, the ACR shoots a little too slow. If you do like that, this is a great template because you have that damage to targets at a cover, you have the max AR damage, and then you can just re-roll the bread basket for whatever it is you want. Not too bad. Not too bad to roll. Um, let's see. Then we have the, uh-oh, how do I say this? Dice Rose? Dicey Rose? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to screw that one up. Anyways, we have this uh, pistol with a swap speed and a sadist. Then we have a Wyvern Wear Backpack with Concussion, Skill Damage, and Health, followed by a Grupo Sombra Chess Piece with Tag Team, Explosive Resistance, and Crit Hit Damage. Finish off with the mods. We have a Crit Damage mod, 10.2, Drone, 2 Extra Bombs, Turret Duration, 6.0, and Sticky Bomb Blast Radius of 4.9. So your very first vendor of the day, any must-buys in my book. Uh, this Point Man's not bad. I actually do like this Point Man. Um, if you want the ACR, that's a good template, but that's about it. All right, moving on. All right, next stop is the Clan Vendor. boop doop doo boop boo Oh, and don't forget, today started that global event. Uh, I should probably enable that after I'm done with this. Alright, Clan Vendor, here we go. Starting off with the Mop. This is the named 612 shotgun, and it comes with Armor on Kill. Now this one, for the talent, it comes with Reformation. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of that, and uh, I would probably go with Preservation if you're going to use this weapon just because preservation gives you armor on kill as well. Um, it's like a armor over time and then the attribute, the 10% armor is instant. So as soon as you get that kill you get armor immediately and if you ran this with preservation you would also get armor over time. Next up we have ongoing directive mask with uh, health, but that weapon damage is pretty high. I don't know. The weapon damage is only 1.6% off from max, so I don't know if uh, you need a ongoing direct of mask. You could easily reroll this health off for any attribute you want and then just optimize that one point cent for that. It's pretty simple. Next up, we have a Eclipse Protocol chest piece with headshot damage, followed by hardwired mask with skill haste and then our high-end items mp5 with bread basket and rate of fire now the uh, smg damage on this one is only 0.1 percent away from max it also comes with rate of fire uh, 
I mean, you could. Enjoy uh, your push. I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna put a uh, measured on there. I'm gonna optimize the rate of fire to max, and I'm gonna see how high up I can get the RPMs on a MP5. We'll see. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to build on that. Uh, paratroop SVD with preservation and max size. Interesting. Walker Harris knee pads with crit damage and explosive resistance. Covert SRS, you know, marksman rifle with ranger max marksman rifle damage and swap speed. Um, this is a good one. You could just easily switch out the swap speed for either damage to armor or damage to targets at a cover, and then all of a sudden this, you know, sniper is ready to go. Um, that's a good one. Highly recommend. Next up, we have an Empress International pair of gloves with headshot damage and crit chance. Hani Yu holster with hazard protection and explosive resistance. And a Fenris chest piece with overwatch, crit damage, and skill haste. Finish off with the mods. We have a crit chance mod, 4.7. Hive stem efficiency, 8.8. .8. Um, that's pretty... I don't know. Do I have one of those? May it serve you well. I'll get one of those just in case. Um, we have a crit damage mod of 10.7. Is that the same? Oh, crit chance, crit damage. Not bad. And then a Hive Reviver Armor Repair of 8.9%. So any must-buys for the Clan Vendor? Um, let's see here. So the MP5 isn't horrible. It's it's okay. The ongoing directive mask again is pretty high. You could just reroll the health for whatever you want. Um, the doop -a -doop -a -doo. I mean, the walker isn't bad. All you would have to do is reroll that explosive resistance off for like say crit chance, and you're good to go. And then that covert SRS is not bad at all. Just reroll the swap speed. Thanks for all right, that is your clan vendor. So now we're going to go through Washington, D.C., going west, and then coming back to the east. First stop is the Campus Settlement. Ooh, those load times. Gotta love it. Alright, so now we're at the Campus. Come on. boo doo boo boo doo Yo, can you guys believe, hold on, can you guys believe Brooklyn Nine-Nine's on its last season? Ugh, love that show. Alright, here we go. Campus Settlement. Let's see it. Are you looking to make a deal? Am I looking to make a deal? Starting off at the top, Tabula Rasa. Uh, this is the named LMG with perfectly steady handed. Now, the crazy part about this one is that it comes with reload speed on, uh, I don't know, I don't like it. Moving on. Model 700 with max headshot damage, reload speed, and eyeless, nope. Military M60 with max size and eyeless, nope. Badger Tough mask, here we go, okay, with crit chance and crit damage. Uh, yes, please. Um... One of the things I haven't really done yet is make a really crazy shotgun build. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. I'm a little stuck on this Regulus right now, but maybe I'll pull out a shoddy one day. Um, but that's good for a shotgun build, for sure. Next up, we have a Fenris holster with weapon handling and status effects. And then finish off with the mods. Skill duration, 8.5. We have a Kim Launcher Radius, 6.0. A Hive Reviver Armor Repair, 8.2. Pulse Effect Duration, 8.9. And then a Trap Duration of 5.9. Um, why are the Trap Durations always around 6? It's kind of weird. We Alright, anyways. Uh, must Buys from the Campus. Eh, just look at the Badger Tough mask. I mean, that's about it. Moving on. Alright, so now we're going to go to DZ Ho West. Ho West! Come on with it. Hopefully we have some good uh, DZ vendors, we'll see. Alright, so now that I am 
everything an agent needs right here. All right, here we go. DZ West. Hello there. Nice. Starting off with the Harmony. This is the named rifle with perfectly in sync. It also comes with headshot damage. That's not horrible for a rifle. Um, now, I would prefer damage to armor or damage to targets out of cover myself, but headshot damage is not bad, especially on a rifle where it's, you know, pretty easy to get your headshots. Uh, next up, we have a 612 shotgun with strained and health damage. A SIG rifle with max crit chance and eyeless. What's up with today? Negotiator's Dilemma gloves with skill haste. True Patriot knee pads with headshot damage. Y'all gear gloves with hazard protection and crit chance. Not bad. However, you would have to optimize the shit out of this. Um, whether it be, well, actually, so what I would do is I would get these gloves if you don't have a good pair of y'all gear with hazard and then just max out the armor and then optimize the hazard protection because um, the hazard will only go up to 10% where that armor goes up to 170k so I'd rather max out the armor and then optimize that hazard up and then you have a god rolled pair of y'all gear gloves because remember the brand set bonus is hazard so if you max out the hazard on this you would all of a sudden have 20% hazard protection on one piece of gear with crit chance, which would be perfect for, you know, an AR build, perhaps, or even like a running gun max crit SMG build. Um, there's a lot of options with this pair of gloves. The only problem is, is you will have to recalibrate one of those to max and then optimize the other one. All right, Gila Guard knee pads with explosive resistance and weapon handling. And then finish off with the mods. Shock resistance, 8.4. Secret Mind skill haste, 4.8. Shield deflector damage, 4.3. Firefly speed, 8.2. And decoy duration, 6.0. Look at that. Again, it's either the decoy or the trap duration, and they're always at around 6%. Good it's either like 5.9 or it's 6 every time. All right, that was your DZ West vendor. Um, any must-buys from here? Uh, I mean, they're not like must-buys. However, you could easily make the Harmony a good one. You could easily make these Y'all Gear gloves a good one, um, but that's up to you. You'd need like, you know, optimization, materials, and all that jazz. Alright, moving on to DZ South. Come on with it. Oh, by the way, we're doing a uh, raid tonight with Sergeant Greybeard, trying to get him that damn Eagle Bear. Alright, DZ South, here we go. Alright, let's see what she's got. Alright, starting off at the top with the Door Kicker's Knock. These are the uh, named Grupo Sombra chess piece with perfect spark. Now this one comes with max status effects and weapon handling. Hmm, that's all right. Moving up, Vector 45 ACP with damage to armor and Optimus, bruh. Pick this one up, this is a good one. This is not my favorite Vector out there. I've already made a video on that. My favorite vector is the normal vector 9mm, however the 45 ACP is my next best bet. Um, especially with damaged armor and optimist, I mean that's a good one. Uh, pick that one up. Not only that, but it has the damaged armor on it already, so you could re-roll the optimist off for, you know, say, I don't know, measured or whatever it is you want. Um, yeah, that's not bad. Maybe I'll roll measured on it. All right, next up we have a military AKM with crit damage and optimist. Here we go again. Um, optimist is a great talent. You could easily reroll the crit damage off for say damage to armor or damage targets out of cover, 
and uh, make this military AKM a great military AKM. Not bad. Uh, custom PF45 with headshot damage and fast hands. Eclipse Protocol Backpack with Skill Haste. True or Tip of the Spear Chess Piece with Skill Damage. Interesting. I think I was told by somebody to run a Skill Build Tip of the Spear or was it a Skill Build True Patriot? I forget. Oh man, it's been so long. I don't know. Moving on. Murakami Industries uh, Backpack with Unstoppable Force. 18.8% repair skills and crit chance. Um, that's unstoppable force. Getting a kill gives you weapon damage. I mean, that's not bad. You could be like a healer damage, uh, like PVE kind of deal. I don't know. That's not bad. Bellstone Armory chest piece with efficient status effects and crit hit damage. And then finish off with the mods. We have a headshot damage mod, 6.9, a drone health mod of 8.4, turret duration, 5.9, and sticky bomb skill haste, 4.2. So DZ South must buys, uh, check out the Vector and this military AKM. Both of these are pretty good weapons. Right. Moving on to DZ East. Now remember, don't go to the main entrance, go to the Alpha Checkpoint. Because the vendor is right si uh, right outside of the Alpha Checkpoint, it's not near the main entrance. And then let it just switch you into a different lobby. Incoming and dogs boom. Drop. Dogs drop. Alright, let's go. Uh, DZ East. Let's see what we have here. Alright, starting off with the White Death. This is the named marksman rifle with that 137% headshot damage. However, the attributes it comes with rate of fire and then the talent killer, so that's not, not a good one. Covert SRS with rate of fire and vindictive, nope. Tactical M249, mag size and fast hands, uh, no. True Patriot Mask with Explosive Resistance, Ongoing Directive Holster with Crit Damage, Wyvern Wear Mask with Headshot Damage and Crit Damage, Wyvern Wear Holster with Skill Haste and Health, and then finishing off with the Mods, Repair Skills 16.2, Chem Launcher Skill Haste 5.7, Hive Duration, 4.2. Pulse Health, 14.5. And then a Trap Duration of 4.1. Alright, so DZE. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doo. Any must buys? No. Alright, moving on. Uh, our last stop for Washington, D.C. The Theater Settlement. Here we go. All right, come on, bro. Hook me up. Here we go. Theater settlement. All right, starting off with the mop again. Very interesting. So this is your named 612 shotgun with armor on kill. However, this talent comes with pummel. So three consecutive kills will refill your magazine and give you 40% weapon damage. Uh, not bad. Uh, next up, we have a Super 90 with Preservation and Rate of Fire, followed by a classic M1A ooh, with damage to targets out of cover and in sync. That's, that's a baller for PvE. That's not bad. I might have to uh, tell the missus. She's a big fan of the classic M1A. Okay, okay. So with this one, what I would do is just max out the rifle damage. And then try to optimize the damage to targets out of cover first. And then you'd have a great rifle for any sort of PvE content. Especially if you're going to sit there with like a uh, Crusader shield. You know, pop on the shield, get your in sync to proc, pop off the shield. You know, and just keep doing that. Rinse and repeat. Um, That's not bad at all. 
I dig it. Next up, Gilligard Gloves with headshot damage and status effects. And then Seska Knee Pads with crit chance and weapon handling. Finishing off with the mods. Ensnare Resistance, 8.3. Seeker Mind Radius, 4.2. Shield Health, 4.2. Firefly Skill Haste, 6.0. And then decoy health 6.0. Um, must buys from the theater. Um, boop -ba doo This classic M1A, for sure. And actually, the uh, yeah. I mean, it, those attributes are too low. I would just say the classic M1A. All right, that is it for Washington D.C. Let's move our way over to New York City. So we have two vendors left in New York City. One is at the top of the escalator named Marco, and then one is outside, and his name is Roy Benitez. Hope you've enjoyed this weekly vendor reset and must buys so far. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you're new, and let me know in the comment section below what you think. All right, here is Marco. Let's see what he has. Do -ba -do -ba -do. Hey, agent. You looking to trade? All right, Marco, you have a SIG MPX with Optimist and Headshot Damage. Um, not horrible. You could easily reroll the Headshot Damage off for Damage to Armor, Damage to Target Set of Cover. And uh, there you go, good to go. I really do enjoy having Optimist on a weapon, just because the more you shoot it, the more you have. So if you're face tanking, you know, say like an NPC or a player, um you know, you're just going to get more damage as you shoot, and then they're going to go down by the time you reload your magazine. Um, not bad. Next up, Military L86 LSW with Ranger and Reload Speed, followed by 1886 with Stability and Ranger. Card 45 with Sadist and Damage to Targets at a Cover. Providence Defense Backpack with Unstoppable Force, Armor Region, and Hazard Protection. Interesting. You could probably make this into like a uh, like a tanky build. I don't know. Overlord Armaments Gloves with Crit Chance and Explosive Resistance. And a pair of Badger Tough Mask with Health and Hazard Protection. Now finishing off with the mods. Boop -ba doo Protection from Elites, 11.0. Now, if you need Protection from Elite mods, say you have all the improvised gear and you're trying to get one of those 80% max Protection from Elites build. Now, to get that, you would have to have Protection from Elite mods on each of your gear items. So if you don't have six, you can pick this one up and you could easily get up to that 80%. Just saying. I do that for like the raid whenever I'm kiting Boomer or whenever I'm doing the 1-7 uh, strat for Weasel um, or, you know, even just like kiting the dogs. It's really easy to have protection from elites on because they do not hurt you. Um, yeah, you not too buy? bad. I wanna sell. Come check Next out my up, stock. Bleed Resistance, 8.5. We have a Drone Duration, 6.5. Pulse Skill Haste, 4.9, and a Decoy Health Mod of 6.0. So any must-buys from Marco? Um, the SIG is not bad. The Card 45 is not bad. The Providence Defense with Unstoppable Force is not bad. And, yeah, the 11% Protection from Elites mod is rare, so I'd probably pick that up. All right, and our last vendor of the video. Brrr. Oh, I don't want to do a drum roll. I might mess up your guys' eardrums. Oh, can't forget to pet the doggy. What's up, buddy? How you doing? How you doing? I love how the snowflakes come off of my weapon on my backpack. <laughs> I love it. How you doing, buddy? You still look good. All right. Have a good one. And last but not least, our final vendor of the video, Roy Buddy Tez. <sighs> All right, give me something. How can I help you, Agent?
All right, starting off with the M in 1928. This is the uh, basically the brother of the Tommy gun. And this one comes with in sync and swap speed. Next up, Paratroop SVD with fast hands and crit chance. Followed by a Super 90 with sadist and reload speed. Uh, 586 Magnum with crit damage and vindictive. And then a Alps Summit chess piece with Overwatch, Skill Haste, and Health. Seska knee pads with status effects and skill haste. And then finally, Providence Defense Mask with crit chance and repair skills. Finish off with the mods. Skill duration, 8.6. Blind death resistance, 8.4. Drone Deflector Duration, 6.4. Hive Health, 7.9. And then Decoy Health, 6.0. So, must buys from Roy Benitez. Uh, nothing. Glad we could help each other. Alright. That, that was a waste, man. I gave you a whole intro and everything, and you just yeah, screwed me over like that. Come on, bro. All right, but that is your weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, August 3rd. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that thumbs up, support the channel by subscribing, and let me know in the comment section below what you think. I'll uh, try to come out with another video later today, but tonight we will be doing another raid live stream with Sergeant Greybeard. So tune in for that. Don't forget you have your notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.